So one of the most common questions I get when I'm on YouTube with my comments is where do you leave your bike and your belongings when you want to go shopping? And I fully understand that question. You're worried about losing your bike, losing your belongings, they're your most prized possession. And if you buy yourself on a bike trip, you'd be like, be thinking, how do I do it? How do I, how do I look after that? Uh, I've got a few thoughts uh, after 18 months of traveling the world on bike, by bike. And I'm gonna show you now, just in my hometown, how I would look after my bike and belongings in different situations. So right now, I'm gonna go into this bike shop, which is behind me, and I need to buy an inner tube. So I'm now about to leave my bike and then decide what to do. How am I going to leave it here and leave it safe? I've got a few options. Uh, option one is to ask inside the bike shop, is it okay if I bring my bike in for a second? Now, because I'm only buying an inner tube and I don't think I'll be in there for that long, it's quite a lot of hassle to bring a bike in just to buy a tube. It's not something that really I'm that worried about, is maybe one or two minutes. Although it only takes a second for your bike to go missing. So the second thing I think about is if I'm going to leave the bike outside is I think about my local surroundings. So I'm going to show you my surroundings now. Where the bike shop is in Skipton is next to a church. The street here, which isn't all that busy, a couple of pedestrians, but it's not super busy. And this is quite a big thing. Looking at your surroundings, what country you're in, and, and factors such as that are really important to decide what you're going to do with your bike. If I was in inner city London or a big city, Manchester, Leeds, I wouldn't be all that keen to leave my bike outside a shop, particularly on Saturday as it is today. There are a few people out and about. So, right now, I'm not even going to lock my bike up. I'm not going to do anything other than taking my front handlebar bag. Now, that's a risk level I'm happy to take because it's a minute, but later on we'll sh I'll show you what my thoughts are if I'm going to leave my bike for a bit longer and I want to go and do an actual full shop, say, for 30, 40 minutes. Okay, let's see how it goes. So here's my bike. I could lock it up, but I'm not, I don't think there's that much risk. So I'm going to take this in and this in to remove any threat. There's my phone. I'll make sure I bring that in with me. So all that goes in my pocket. This comes off, and there we go. Bike, not 100% safe, but what I'm gonna do is move it to the entrance. Now something I do need to do is put a face mask on, so let's do that. So there's a bit of a queue to go inside the shop, so rather than leaving my bike unattended, I'm just waiting outside waiting for the queue to die down, and then I'll go inside. I've made sure I put my bike in view of the door, so when I'm inside, I'll be able to see it. And that's it. I make sure there's no valuables on clear display, and that's pretty much it. It's the highest risk is somebody taking something valuable, like a phone or a, a quick to take bag. So that's my thoughts. Where shall I put it? Yeah. Uh, just anywhere where you can leave it. Uh, that's great, thank you. So what happened there was, I was gonna leave my bike outside and the shop guy was like, do you wanna bring the bike in? And that was a really good example actually of maybe I should have just asked. Rather than just thinking, oh, it'll be okay, it'll be too much hassle. That's me being a bit shy. And you shouldn't be shy about your bike and the safety of it. So if in doubt, ask and see if you can bring your bike inside. And that's basically what I try to do most of the time. If I'm eating inside a little cafe, I'll sit next to a window and I'll prop it up there so I can always see it and basically just never let that bike out of your sight. Right, we're now going to go for a little wander into Skipton. Oh, listen to that. That is half 12 and the bells are ringing. My favourite sounds is church bells ringing. So if you need to go shopping in a supermarket, some of the best advice is just to put your bike inside. It's something I've done throughout the bike trip in America, in the USA, I once had a woman close a checkout and let me put my bike where the checkout would be. Um, if you don't ask, you won't get it. Um, I wouldn't trust my bike outside somewhere like here because it's quite busy. Um, let's see what they say. And if they don't let me have it in, I just have to go somewhere else. That's basically it. Right, let's do it. Hey, is it okay if I put my bike over there, behind there? Yeah. Thank you.
There you go, really easy. If you didn't ask for that, it wouldn't have happened. So it's really simple, just get my bike safe and it's inside, so it won't be getting rained on. It should be safer. I did also lock it up just for a precautionary measure. Right, let's get some bread. So there's my thoughts on leaving your bike. If you can, bring the bike into the shop. If you can't do that, the next best thing to do is to put it outside, locked up, somewhere you can keep your eye on it. If you're leaving your bike outside, it's just a risk. It depends which country you're in and what your tolerance to risk is. You could do it 99 times and be fine, but it only takes one time to ruin your day. And I know people that have lost bikes and have lost gear. So you can never be too careful. Another thing I will often do is, if I know I'm staying in a town for a day or two, is book into a hostel, try and get the bike in my room, and at the worst case, get into a storage cupboard or something like that. And then, uh, and then the bike should be safe. Just don't risk it, really. I get asked it a lot, and I think people that ask are probably just a bit cautious about, about asking to bring their bike inside. And if someone says no, say, okay, no problem, and then go take it custom somewhere else, because generally it, it's usually okay. And this is my experience in many, many countries. Now, if I'm somewhere like Japan, you could leave your bike outside for weeks and it'll never get touched. If you're somewhere, I don't know, like Malaysia or Thailand, you're gonna be doing most of your shopping at a little stall, like a fruit stall or a vegetable stall on the side of the road. So there's not an awful lot of need to go in a shop unless you're getting a, a tr uh, like a snack from 7-Eleven. <laughs> to be honest, every single time I did that, I just left it outside. All right, I've got a downhill. I need both hands for the brakes. Hope you enjoyed that video and hope it was a help. All right, subscribe for more content and I'll see you later.